Ah, loyal citizens, I am your leader. My reign begins today. For the duration of the show, BBLB will be known as the State of Dallas. <laughs> From this day forth, you are my obedient people and will obey all my commands. Yes, it is all going very well. Uh, hey, welcome to Big Boss Little Brother. Day 29, time is 7.32. We're outside the house and my team are cheering. Rule one in Little Brother, don't do that. Rule two in Little Brother, big it up for the guest Stephen Gately's with us. Hello, Stephen. Hey, Good to see you. You, you well. Too. More from Stephen later on. He's here to judge the singing powers of all of our housemates. We're really glum. Uh, and we'll be pausing for E-A-W-S. Uh, to take a look through the cap flap of mystery of another housemate's home, will it be Mikey's mansion, Pete's prefab, or Susie's semi? Who knows? You will do later on. But we kick off the show, my friends, as we always do, almost always do at least. It's time for Little Brothers Big News. Get out! Oh man, this is brilliant. It's our fresco news today. Uh, following two of the housemates' recent sub duvet shenanigans, Ashlyn uh, has been accused of taking the Mikey out of Grace and Mikey. Uh, now Grace is on the warpath, but as Ashlyn revealed at 10.47 this morning, she was already planning her defence. Take a look at this. If Grace says anything today, I'll have to hold my tongue and, and stop myself from exposing her for what she told me the other day. She told me that I'd never take him home to my mum, and a girl's got to do what she's got to do to get by in here. We're still searching for clips about that. Is it true? We don't know. We'll let you know. Uh, second up, having failed the task again this week, the housemates uh, are on yet another restricted shopping budget. But while the others might go hungry at 104 this afternoon, it looked like well, there's going to be plenty of cold turkey in store for Lisa Tegnick. Hello, I was just saying I was well, I'm worried about Lisa's lack of nicotine storming around in the kitchen earlier on with you. <laughs> She's like, boom, 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 boom. No. Yeah. I'm just so easily wound up today. <sighs> and you know, like, if I run out of six and that, that's it, innit? I mean, I feel stressed out to death today. Yeah. <laughs> the Cold War didn't do it, then. Fine. Uh, and finally, at 4.58 this afternoon, is the stress of tomorrow night's upcoming eviction taking its toll on Nikki? Who knows? Just take a look. What are you doing? What are you doing? That is my help. You're fired! No! <laughs> oh my God, it's dawn all over here! Nikki's Oh, no! <laughs> it does, oh. can't be. No. Ah! And she leaves skid marks. Uh, and that, my friends, is Little Brothers Big News. <laughs> Adventure game. <laughs> hey, uh, so the state of Susie is no more. Uh, the empire has crumbled from within, and its loyal citizens have failed to abide by the leader's rules. Is this because the housemates are a, law a lawless in general, or because Susie, as a leader, was rubbish. With that in mind, today's cool BBLB could only be, would you pledge your allegiance to Susie? And if so, pourquoi? These numbers are cool. No, no, no. I don't need to cheer. Very kind of you. But you will work with me, so you really don't need to cheer. Uh, we've noticed uh, that with eviction night tomorrow, a tragic comedy is developing before our very eyes. So for our light box update today, I'll be using iambic pentameter of Shakespearean verse. <laughs> now you can cheer. <laughs> <laughs> Amongst the cast, we have Mikey. 
Mikey is obviously our Romeo, and his Juliet is, of course, Sweet Grace. Richard can be likened to Oberon, the King of the Fairies, and who can forget little mischievous Puck or Nicky? Now then, something is rotten in the state of Susie. Since Susie nominated Nicky and Grace on Monday, they've been plotting to overthrow the Susie regime. Oh, Susie, all that glittens is not gold. Often you have heard that talk. Nikki ventured her uh, diary, uh, angry, mm -hmm. <laughs> in the diary. <laughs> Methinks the lady doth protest too much. <laughs> and Mikey is perplexed by the apparent demise of Grace. Shall he compare thee to a summer's day, Gracie? Grace is under the illusion her relationship with Mikey has prompted the public chance but remains philosophical about the whole thing. To be or not to be bitchy. That is the question. <laughs> Little does Grace know, but Ashleen has a liking for Mikey. To sleep, perchance to dream with a man teeth. Ah, Sam, alas, I knew him her well. And Lisa <laughs> and Leah are both convinced Richard is false. Oh, villain, smiling villain. <laughs> Damned villain. That, my friends, is today's slightly pretentious light box update. But lest we forget, all the world is a stage, <laughs> and all the men and women merely players. They have the exits and the entrances, and one man in his time plays many, many parts. As you like it, or indeed, as you were. Good catch. Yeah. Hey, you know what, everyone? Two things. Firstly, let's have a quite self-indulgent round of applause for Nick there. Yeah. On the lure. And secondly, it's time to take another journey through the cat flap. Yes, all right. Now, earlier today, we spayed a visit to the home of uh, one of our current housemates. But can you guess who? Let's take a look as we go through the cat flap. Meow. Oh, oh, I'm a little cat. Oh, where am I going to go today? Oh, there's a nice three-storey house over there. Oh, there's a lovely green door. I'll go through that. Oh, I've got my own key. That's wonderful. Right. Oh, I blink my eyes and I go upstairs. What's in here? I'm going to get up the stairs. Oh, it's some furniture up there. Oh, it's a nice, clean house. I wonder who's that? Oh, it's quite, it's quite, oh, it's quite, it's quite shaven and bald. Who's this? Oh, Maria Testino. Sexual um, portraits. Oh, no, I don't know who that is. Oh, it's a lovely, lovely bar. Oh, it's a lovely bathroom in there. A lot of white goods in here. Oh, someone, oh, I imagine someone here might work in a restaurant because they don't come and cook much. Right, who's, oh, let's just go up the stairs again. Oh, I'm not going to give it away, though. Um, oh, who's this? Oh, oh I like that bed. I'm going to get on that bed. Oh, yeah, lovely. Oh, oh I'll tell you what, I've worn myself out. I might go, oh, I think I might, oh, I don't know, I'll have a little look around first. There's some clothes there. Oh, what have they done with them? Oh, I'm going to fall asleep. There we go. Lovely stuff. Who knows who that is? Uh, any ideas? You let us know through the medium of being psychic. Uh, after the break, I'll be getting in the zone with Stephen Gately. <laughs> And we're reveal the occupier of that flat, Seaman 409. <laughs> yeah, we're back. Welcome to Big Brothers Little Brothers. Day 29, the time is 7.45. Now uh, it's time to put you out of your misery and reveal whose cat flap our feline friend was entering. Roll the VT. I'm Lisa, I'm Richard Spadman. Come on in, I'll show you where he lives. And here we go. Small kitchen, steaming machine. He loves steaming his food. He loves mixing all his seeds. Here's a little secret from Richard. As you probably noticed, he's bald. But for some bizarre reasons. He's using shampoo for dry out, rough and damaged hair. What is that all about? This is where Richard watches TV 24-7. Pretty much we always done at the same time. So we're like Will and Grace, like a married couple. And here it is, the diva's room. Um, he's a screenplay writer. He spends most of his time writing. Richard, good luck. I hope you're going to do really, really well and you're going to stay in as long as you can because I'm l I love, love living on my own. And that's it. I can't do any more. <laughs> Where is she from? Is she like Martian or something? That was extraordinary. 
The giveaway there, of course, was when she said, here's Richard, he likes uh, mixing his seeds, which is brilliant. Um, but now, everyone, Stephen Gailey's here! Yeah. How are you? How are you doing? Stephen. How are you? Thank you. Oh, Stephen, is it... I think it's the first time I've had you on, isn't it? Yes. Wonderful. So, so why, nice why, why, why is it taking so long? Are you enjoying this know. series I'm in particular? Yes, I am. I think it's fantastic. It's great TV to watch. Mm -hmm. and every time I go home from a night out, you know, I'm always putting it back on. And what, yeah. The, well, the lovely thing it's is when addictive. You, you come out and you watch, the, you, after you've been out, you come back and you always watch the streaming. I think that's one of the most in, in, uh, important bits of the week, especially Friday night streaming is my favourite because you have that kind of post I'll have to do it tomorrow night. Now then, um, who in particular do we like so far? Um, we like Pete. Um, we don't like Grace. Really? Yeah, we like, we like Lynn, like Mikey. OK. Uh, who else we like? Yeah, so we're now just listing housemates. Uh, we don't yeah. need to go there. Okay. Uh, let's let's so focus on Susie, though, because I want to get your take I on I like her. Susie. You do? I do like Susie. She's a good girl. OK, now, what, what is it about her you like? Do you think, she, do you think she's... She's well-spoken. Do you think she's taken to the task quite well, though? I do. I think she's done remarkably well. Mm -hmm. um, I have enjoyed watching her. And, and she's been quite strict as well, and she's making sure that they all line up. And um, before they pledge their allegiance. Now, if you were in the house, uh, it was the state of Stephen. I know we'd all like that, wouldn't we? Um, who would you like to put up for eviction? Um, Grace. What is that about Grace? Has I don't got... know. Is I it... don't. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I think she's got a bad attitude. I just get a bad vibe from her. Really? And, um, and the public, really, I, I don't think like her that well. And, and Nikki as well. I mean, but, but you know, more Grace. Okay, but the one, one thing we, we do have to stress about Grace is she's straight to the point. And she is a great housemate. I mean, I don't think people would be watching this week if she wasn't up for eviction. I see. I, I think they're going to keep Nicky in because they want to watch her because she's kind of she's more comedy. She, you get more laughs out of her rather than Grace just kind of moaning or. Okay. Pitching. Now, who else? Grace is only one person you put up for eviction. If you were Susie, who would the other person be? <laughs> Nicky. <laughs> what do you mean, Nicky? <laughs> yeah. Why Nicky? Because <laughs> she annoys the hell out of me. But don't now. When you but when you get back <laughs> from being out, surely when you turn on the television. You know, Nikki is, is, the, is the one person you want to be looking at because you know you're going to get great value out of her. She's great entertainment, but if I was in the house and I was allowed to bring one thing in, it would be a pack of razor blades, either for her to eat or, or for, for to... you to shave, perhaps. <laughs> I have to say, I, I didn't expect this below the belt style stuff from the <laughs> gate. I'm sure she's lovely. I'm, so, I'm sure she's One of Mr. Nice she's Guys. Just, I, well, she just no one briefs me on this. She screams too much. She's too loud. I just I, I lose my mind. Okay, we need to move on. I'm being told in my ear, but I'm going to take you out for a second, all right? Come on yourselves. Um, in your capacity as former boy band member, we need to quiz you on whether the housemates could make it into the hit parade with their singing. We start with obvious uh, boy band fonder, uh, fodder. It's Mikey. Let's take a look at this. Yeah. We're doing a <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Two things there. Firstly, just to point out, he was singing the apocalyptic Earth song by Michael Jackson. And absolutely, was that it? Yeah, he was killing both Pete and the Earth by the sound time. <laughs> uh, we, we can have that for you again. Let's just look at Pete's reaction. I want to see he his has face. Nowhere to go so here. good. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do I give you affirmation? It's just impossible. Uh, I know what the answer is going to be. Could Mikey cut the mustard as a boy band member? No. 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 I, 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 more of a kind of TV presenter, probably. Is, well, how dare you? Um, <laughs> well, he just reminds me of, of so much of Vernon Kay. He's a good-looking guy, isn't he? But you know, he, I don't know. He, he can, he's not a great singer. We don't like the singing. No, we don't okay. like the singing. Next up is Ashleen in a bombastic styley. Take a look at this. Party party. All of them sexy, sexy, sexy. Here comes a hot stepper. Murderer. Murderer. I'm a lyrical gangster. Murderer. Murderer. Excuse me, Mr. Officer. Murderer. Still living like that. Murderer. Murderer. Right, Ashley. <laughs> Where do we start with Ashley? Where do we go? What do you think? No, she's too wholesome. She's, she's looking too wholesome? To, well, to do what she's doing, she should be more. Childish oh, she needs to be. What well, in terms of that, she needs to. If she's going to be singing that stuff, she yeah. needs to be a bit grimy. Yeah, is that what you're saying? Yeah, she's okay. get dirty. Uh, I was going to. There's no future for the for her and the, the whole sort of urban music scene. Do you think when she leaves the house? She uh, I don't. I don't think she'd be getting a record deal. In, in a what hurry. do you think she needs to do? Then go a little bit more saccharine sweet for the whole Charlotte Church thing. Yeah, I think she should do a bit, a bit 
Charlotte kind yeah, of stuff. Less, less total. Yeah. Okay. Finally, now we all know it's very talented. It's Beatbox Pete. Let's take a look at Beatbox Pete. I shake that ass. I shake that ass. I shake that ass. Ow! <laughs> Very naturally talented, but could he pull off a big power ballad with a key change at the end? Uh, probably. You think uh, Pete's got good legs? Uh, uh, to, to... Out of everyone else, yes. Okay. I, I think well, he stands a chance. we have, however, kept our most prolific crooner until the end. I'm, of course, talking about our very own Glynn, and I can exclusively reveal that following on from the success of uh, Sounds from the Valleys, which went platinum, I'm sure you really? know, remember. We, we released it. Fantastic, for him. yeah. We, we've taken it upon ourselves to release Glynn's second album. Take a look at this. This is Glenn's Songs from the Valleys 2, The Growing Years. 23 new recordings, including... She came from Greece, she had her first for knowledge. What she said is go to her ass and Martin's oh. college, that's what I... The Groovy. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. And the unforgettable. Mandy, you came and you came without taking. Cos I'm just a teenage dirtbag, maybe. I feel nice. I am the tiger in the Also featuring Glynn's songwriting debut. I'm cooking an egg for the very first time. Uh -hmm. Uh -huh. Still not out now. Coming soon, Glynn's greatest hits. Wonderful work. Stephen, let me put it, put this to you. Do you think I'm cooking an egg for the very first time? Oh. Um, um. <laughs> could potentially be a timeless classic. No. No! <laughs> no! Hey, you're turning to Mr. Nasty. You're never like this. Oh, OK. It will do. It will oh, do really fantastic. well. Well, if, especially if it's on the greatest hits, just to kind of, you know... Oh, yeah, just buffer up the greatest yeah. hits. Lovely. Now, listen, before you go, we just have to show you... I mean, I know you had countless groupies when you were in Boyzone, but uh, Glenn already has a groupie, and it's, it's inside the house. Take a look at it. I love Glenn. I love him so much. I'd love a soundtrack of all his songs. <laughs> She can have a soundtrack of all his songs, but here it is. It's the songs there. in the valleys too, and that's for oh, you, Stephen. Thank, thank you very much. much. Finally, Stephen, well, you're back in to win it, Pete. You're back in Pete to win it. It's a, a, a veritable collage of people over here, but Gately is back in Pete to win it. Okay, wicked. There Yay. we go. Uh, Stephen Gately, everyone. <laughs> Just for old time's sake. Yeah, Bracky. Uh, okay, Grace, Nikki, you know who they are. I have a little reminder and then some voting numbers. Take a look. I can communicate well with other people. I don't know why that girl even bothers wearing knickers. I've seen everything. You're such a cow. <laughs> oh, I can diffuse situations. I didn't even mention Sam. Mention nothing. I didn't even mention Sam. She's the biggest moose I've ever seen in my life. Do you think girls will not like me on the outside? Get Grace out. <laughs> Uh, Stephen's still with us for today's cool BBLB, which is would you pledge your allegiance to Susie and if so, why? Let's go straight to the coolest. First up, Marie in Glasgow. Hello, Marie. Hi, Dermot. Hi, Stephen. How are you? Hi, Dermot. Oh, Very well. You are. Thank Thanks, you. Marie. Marie, would you pledge your allegiance to Susie and if e so, why? Yes, I would pledge allegiance to Susie. I think she's a complete breath of fresh air in the house and I love the way she's noising up Nikki and Grace. Right. They're both fuming at the power she has and it's great viewing. <laughs> Whoever survives, obviously either Nikki, one of Nikki or Grace, do you think that they will sort of try and 
uh, build some bridges with Susie, or do you think now they'll be quite aloof? I think um, Grace is probably going to go on Friday, and Nikki is sort of going to just fall in with the crowd and become a friend of Susie mm. because she'll play the game, Dermot. So what is it? You, what is it you like about Susie, Marie? If you don't mind me asking. I like the the way that she's playing it cool at the moment, but I'm sure there are fireworks to come. Okay, brilliant. Do you think there's fireworks to come, or do you think this is just a, this is a classy lady we've got in there? With I think she's classy. Yeah, I like I like how she speaks and how, how she looks and how she think, presents herself. Do you think there's a game plan there, or is that just the real deal? I don't know. I hope so. Yeah. Okay. I Thanks a lot, Marie. Joe in Stockport's next up. Hey, Joe. Hi, Dermot. Hi, Steve. Hi, Joe. Oh, okay. Hi, Dermot. Loving your work. Oh, thanks, Joe. Okay. Listen, let me ask you a question. Would you pledge your allegiance to Susie? And if so, why? No, I wouldn't. Why I, not? I have nothing against her. I'm mm. not sure about her. She's too nice. I'm sure she must have some sort of game plan going on. Nothing seems to phase her in that house. And that house, with those housemates, something should be pushing her buttons, and it isn't. Okay. So, so I'm just not sure. So what do you reckon we're going to see in the next few weeks? Mm. I don't know. I think... She's definitely, there's definitely some big shock, surprise. There's, there's a lot more to Susie than we're actually seeing at this moment, I'm convinced. I like it, Joe. Conspiracy theory. Thanks mm. a lot. Okay. That's all we've got time for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to Stephen. Of course, of course, me and Joe there. Uh, don't forget, tell for tonight, later time at 10 o'clock, switch over to see Russell on uh, Big Brother's Big Mouth. Join us tomorrow, 7.30 on E4, joined by Nick and Grace's friends and family, as you were. Yeah!